Hello. Welcome to Today in History, an AI podcast. I'm Steven. And I'm Ruth. We're the artificial intelligence hosts of this show. Every day, we'll tell you about the most interesting, consequential and sometimes forgotten facts in history that happened on this date. Politics, economy, war, religion, culture. One topic every day. Plus something that you would have heard on the news back then on this date. Also, about a holiday somewhere in the world, someone who was born and someone who died. Hope you stay with us. Please enjoy a few minutes to maybe get a little smarter and appreciate the enormity of every single day. Today is Sunday, April 7, 2024. The year is 1896. Our main topic, an Arctic expedition led by Norwegian explorer Fridtjof Nansen, pictured, reached 86 degrees 13.6 n, almost 3 degrees beyond the previous farthest north latitude. On this day in 1895, Fridtjof Nansen's Arctic expedition reached a record-breaking latitude of 86 degrees 13.6 n, the farthest north point ever attained at that time. Nansen's groundbreaking journey marked a significant milestone in the history of polar exploration, demonstrating the feasibility of reaching the North Pole by harnessing the natural drift of the Arctic Ocean. The expedition's success not only showcased Nansen's exceptional leadership and determination but also paved the way for future explorers to push the boundaries of human endurance and scientific discovery in the harsh, icy landscape of the Arctic. Context, Nansen's Fram expedition was met with skepticism by many seasoned polar explorers, who believed that attempting to reach the North Pole by drifting with the Arctic Ocean's currents was impractical and dangerous. Undeterred, Nansen and his crew braved the unforgiving environment, overcoming numerous challenges, including treacherous ice conditions, extreme cold, and the constant threat of starvation. Historical significance, Nansen's achievement marked a turning point in the history of Arctic exploration. His innovative approach to harnessing the natural drift of the Arctic Ocean opened up new avenues for exploration and scientific research in the region. The expedition also highlighted the importance of careful planning, resourcefulness, and teamwork in the face of extreme adversity, setting a high standard for future expeditions. Furthermore, Nansen's work in the Arctic laid the foundation for his later humanitarian efforts, as he went on to become a prominent advocate for the rights of indigenous peoples and a leading figure in the international community. In conclusion, Fridtjof Nansen's record-breaking farthest north latitude achievement on this day in 1895 stands as a testament to human resilience, determination, and the unrelenting pursuit of scientific discovery. His groundbreaking expedition paved the way for future generations of explorers and scientists, inspiring them to push the boundaries of human knowledge and endurance in the unforgiving environments of the Arctic. The year is 451. On the news, Attila the Hun captures Metz in France, killing most of its inhabitants and burning the town. Good evening, and welcome to our evening news broadcast. I'm your anchor, insert name here, and we have some breaking news to share with you tonight. We've just received word that Attila the Hun, the ruler of the Huns, has captured the city of Metz in France. According to eyewitness reports, Attila and his army descended upon the town, killing most of its inhabitants and burning it to the ground. Now, let's put this in context for you. Metz is a strategic location in northeast France, situated at the confluence of the Moselle and Say rivers. It's a central place in the European Greater Region and the saar lor lux euro region, making it a prime target for any invading force. Attila the Hun, as many of you may know, is the leader of an empire consisting of Huns, Ostrogoths, Alans, and Bulgars, among others, in Central and Eastern Europe. He's been making waves in the region for quite some time now, and this latest move is sure to send shockwaves throughout Europe. The historical significance of this event cannot be overstated. Attila's capture of Metz marks a major turning point in European history. It's a clear indication that the Huns are a force to be reckoned with, and their influence is only likely to grow in the coming years. Of course, we'll continue to monitor this situation closely and bring you updates as more information becomes available. In the meantime, our thoughts are with the people of Metz and all those affected by this tragic event. Thank you for joining us tonight. We'll see you again soon. Our selected holiday for today, World Health Day, International Observance. 
World Health Day is a global awareness day celebrated every year on April 7, under the sponsorship of the World Health Organization, WHO, and other related organizations. The day is an opportunity for people and organizations to raise awareness about health issues and promote healthy living practices. It is also a day to commemorate the founding of the WHO and its commitment to improving global health. Cultural Significance World Health Day is significant because it highlights the importance of health and well-being, which is a fundamental human right. It is a day to recognize the efforts of healthcare workers, researchers, and organizations that work tirelessly to improve healthcare and promote healthy living practices. The day also serves as a reminder of the need for collective action to address global health challenges such as infectious diseases, chronic diseases, and health inequities. The holiday is celebrated in many ways, including health fairs, conferences, and campaigns to promote healthy living practices. It is also a day for individuals to reflect on their own health and well-being, and to make commitments to live healthier lifestyles. Overall, World Health Day is an important reminder of the need for global solidarity and cooperation to address health challenges and ensure that everyone has access to quality health care. It is a day to celebrate the progress made in improving global health, and to renew commitments to continue working towards a healthier future for all. On this day, in 1937, Charlie Thomas, American singer, D. 2023, was born. Charlie Thomas, an American singer and former member of the Drifters, passed away in 2023. He was best known for his smooth, soulful voice and his contributions to the iconic group's sound and success. Thomas's legacy in the music industry spanned over six decades, leaving behind a rich discography and countless memories for fans of rhythm and blues. Born in 1940, in Lynchburg, Virginia, Thomas's love for music started at a young age. He began performing in local talent shows and church choirs, honing his craft and developing his unique style. His big break came in 1958 when he was performing with the Five Crowns at the Apollo Theater in New York City. George Treadwell, the manager of the Drifters, was in attendance and was impressed by Thomas's vocal abilities. Treadwell fired his current group and recruited the Five Crowns to become the new Drifters. Thomas's time with the Drifters was marked by some of the group's most memorable hits, including There Goes My Baby, Save the Last Dance for Me, and Under the Boardwalk. His distinctive voice and charisma helped establish the Drifters as one of the leading R&B groups of the 1960s. Thomas's contributions to the group's success were undeniable, and he remained a key member until 1971. After his departure from the Drifters, Thomas continued to pursue a career in music. He released several solo albums and collaborated with other artists, including a stint with the legendary soul group, The Spinners. Thomas's passion for music never wavered, and he continued to perform and entertain audiences until his retirement in the early 2000s. Thomas's impact on the music industry was not limited to his work as a performer. He was also a vocal advocate for musicians' rights and was involved in various charitable initiatives throughout his career. He worked closely with organizations that supported education and youth development, using his platform to give back to the community and inspire the next generation of artists. In 2023, the music world lost a legend with the passing of Charlie Thomas. His legacy, however, continues to live on through his music, which remains a testament to his talent, dedication, and passion. His contributions to the Drifters' sound and success are undeniable, and his influence on the music industry as a whole is still felt today. As we remember Thomas's remarkable life and career, we celebrate the enduring impact of his music and the memories he leaves behind for fans of all ages. We remember the life of Bob Kennedy, American baseball player, coach, and manager, born 1920, who died on this date in 2005. Bob Kennedy, a name synonymous with excellence in baseball, left an indelible mark on the sport as a player, coach, and manager. Born in 1920, Kennedy's life was dedicated to the game he loved, and his contributions continue to inspire generations of players and fans alike. Kennedy's playing career spanned two decades, showcasing his versatility as a right fielder and third baseman for various teams, including the Philadelphia Athletics, Boston Red Sox, and Chicago White Sox. His impressive stats, a .284 batting average, 1,072 RBIs, and 1,469 runs scored, earned him a place in the hearts of fans and cemented his position as a respected player in the league. Following his playing days, Kennedy transitioned seamlessly into coaching and management, 
He served as a coach for several teams, including the Chicago White Sox, before taking the helm as manager for the Washington Senators, Cleveland Indians, and Chicago White Sox. His leadership and guidance were instrumental in shaping the careers of countless players, and his dedication to the game was palpable in every aspect of his work. Kennedy's impact on baseball extends beyond his impressive stats and leadership roles. He was a mentor, a role model, and a beacon of inspiration for those who had the privilege of working alongside him. His passion for the game was contagious, and his commitment to fair play and sportsmanship earned him the respect of his peers and the admiration of fans. Off the field, Kennedy was a devoted husband and father. He cherished his family and was known for his kindness, humility, and generosity. His contributions to his community were numerous, and his involvement in various charitable initiatives underscored his dedication to giving back. Sadly, Kennedy passed away in 2005, leaving behind a rich legacy that continues to inspire baseball enthusiasts. His legacy is a testament to his unwavering dedication, his passion for the game, and his commitment to excellence. Bob Kennedy's impact on baseball will be felt for generations to come, and his memory will continue to be celebrated by those who had the privilege of knowing him. This was Today in History, an AIA podcast. Brought to you by Decor Studios. All content was sourced from Wikipedia and processed with open source large language models. This podcast is released under Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 4.0 International License. Thank you so much for listening. Talk to you tomorrow.